Hey guys, take a moment to the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to set up and activate your iPhone 15 Pro and activate your eSIM card as well. So let's get started. So if you have iPhone 15 Pro, go ahead and take it out of the box, of course, if you haven't done so. Go ahead and power it on. So if you're new to iPhone, the way to power on any iPhone is simply holding the side button until you see the Apple logo. So I just press and hold that side button and the Apple logo appears. That means the phone is powering on. And once it powers on, we're going to go through the whole setup process, explain to you all the steps you need in order to go ahead and activate your device. So once you're on, this is how it's going to look originally out of the box. You have the hello screen, you swipe up. And the very first thing is selecting the language. So you select your language and the country and region here. You want to select that. Now appearance here allows you to customize what kind of text size and icons you want. Default is this size. You can look at medium, see it's much bigger, and then large for much bigger experience. So I'll keep it as default, but of course pick your preference and hit continue. And after that, now you can set up your phone if you have one existing by simply holding it near the other one. It'll transfer everything over. If not, you can just click on set up with another one if it's your very first time. And after that, you'll need to connect to the internet in order to be able to go through the process. So I'll select my Wi-Fi here and then quickly enter my password here off the screen. And then after that, enter your Wi-Fi password. You'll just hit that join button. And once you join, it should connect to the internet and set up your phone by reaching out to Apple server. So if there's any issues with the phone, hopefully there's no issues. You'll be able to get to the next screen, which will show you the next things that you'll need to know in this process. Now, the next thing is important. It's a software update. Now, if there's a software update available, Apple is letting you know. You can always update it later, but in order to kind of go through this process, I'm just going to click on later, but you can, of course, update it. And then data and privacy, you can read through this or learn more about it. We're just going to hit continue here. Now, setting up your phone now, you have two options. You can set it up for yourself, or if this phone is going to be a child, in your family, you can use that option as well, which will go through that process. So we're just going to set up for myself. Now, Face ID, you want to set up Face ID, right? What will happen is once you hit continue, it's going to ask you to scan your face, move the phone around and your face around. But just for the sake of the video, I'm just going to skip through this. You can always come back and set it up later in the setting as well. So I'm just going to do it later. Now, you want to enter a passcode into your phone to be securing your data. So I'm just going to put a super simple password. But of course, you get the idea. Make sure it's, of course, more complex than one, two, three, like the ones that I'm entering. Now, after you have entered that, it's going to ask you if you haven't moved the data over yet, how you would like to move your data if you have data from another device, whether it's an iPhone or another Android device, which also gives you the option. If you have iCloud backup, you can sign into Apple ID, restore from the backup, or another iPhone, your PC if you have iTunes backup, or you can simply choose not to do any of that. So set which one of you, if you want to start clean, fresh slate, you can do, don't transfer anything. But the next thing is really important, which is Apple ID. So in order to use any of Apple services like the Apple Store to download apps, iMessage, FaceTime, anything you name it, you'll need Apple ID. Now, Apple ID, good thing is free to create if you've never created one on the iPhone, or you can use your existing one, which is recommended if you want if you want to sync think things across your device here. So what I'm going to do is click on this and assume that you don't have Apple ID, you'll click on to create one for free. If you forgot your password, you can always reset it, or you can always come back later in the setting to set it up. So it doesn't really matter, but Apple ID, either you set it up now or you set it up later, won't matter. Now, terms and conditional all the legal stuff, you can read through it, send it to mail, but we're just going to hit agree here so you can get through the next step. Now, the next step is basically saying if you want to keep your phone updated automatically, it will download and install the releases as they came out. So we're just going to hit continue here iMessage and FaceTime, basically, once you activate iMessage and FaceTime, other iPhone users can call you on FaceTime and iMessage on your contacts. So we'll just hit continue here. Location services, important when it comes to being able to use Find My, Maps, and other services. You can enable it or enable it later. So I'm just going to click on option, whatever option you pick. Now, this is the important step when it comes to setting up your eSIM card because there is no physical SIM card on the 15 Pro model, at least in the US model. So what you'll need to do is if you have a phone, you can bring it near and click on that option. And if you do, it will ask the other phone, right? If you have this one, it will ask if you want to 
do the transfer just like this one as you can see here this message will pop up and you hit continue it'll transfer your number over for your phone service in a case that you don't have another phone or you're getting a new number your carrier or the company that you get phone service will give you a QR code something like this which they will email it to you or send it over and all you do is scan that just like that on the camera and it will take all the details that it needs from that QR code and enter it in for you so you can get phone service. Of course, this QR code is just a dummy QR code. That's why it can't scan anything, but you get the idea here. So two ways to set up your cellular service, either by your phone near or simply just scan the QR code. Or you can only set it up later in the setting, which I'll just select here just for sake of this video. And then Siri, which is a voice assistant, you wanna be able to activate, if say, hey Siri to do request. If you wanna do that, you will select a voice here Hi. Hi. based I'm on one of that Hi. or you can I'm let Siri. it choose and then it will activate Siri for you or you can come back and set it up later in the setting the next step you get is screen time which is basically a weekly report of how much time you're spending on apps and certain things which and then you can also put limits on certain things you can set this up now or later we'll just do later and then phone analytics basically any issues that you're having with the phone it will give you that information and then send it to Apple if you want to do that. Now, I usually don't, but that's up to you. Now, the next step is light versus dark display, which is pretty self-explanatory if you want a dark versus light, or you can have auto where it goes dark during sun after sunset, then light during sunrise. I'll just hit keep it light as well. Now, on the 15 Pro comes a new action button, which is right here, which again, it's telling you that the silent button uh, has to be coming from that control center, so we'll hit continue here. And then the action button, now you can customize it based on whatever you like. By default, it's a silent button, but you can also have it to be a focus button, camera, flashlight, and a bunch of other options available here as well. So I'm gonna leave it as is. Now, emergency SOS is a feature that comes with iPhone for any sort of emergency crash detection and any satellite communication via SOS, which is just letting you know those information are available. Finally, we get to welcome to iPhone. That means we're set up or ready to go, and that's how you set it up. Now, if you didn't set up cellular, like I mentioned, you can set it up again, or simply go into your settings, sign into your Apple ID again here one more time if you didn't sign in, and then cellular, you can click on setup, and that same exact menu will pop up as well again. So that's how you activate and set up your iPhone 15 Pro. I hope this video was helpful in explaining how to set up your new iPhone. If so, please make sure that like and subscribe button for future tips, tricks, and all sorts of information that you need to know about your iPhone going forward. Thanks for watching, guys. See you guys next time.